We're back once again. We're at the refuge in Detroit Lakes. Uh, Dave Oney here along with Mel Manning. Mm -hmm. And it's a special time of year. It really is. It is a beautiful time of year, Dave. Beautiful and day out there today. It is. And, and uh, the refuge is looking out for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, we want to encourage people in the area to, to look out for the refuge, too. Yes, Dave. And that's, that's exactly right. And that's what I kind of like to use this time for is to, first of all, thank the people for, for being such a great part of the refuge, uh, awesome how people support us. and uh, But this time of year especially, we're getting so much requests uh, from people. Uh, uh, the phone is ringing, ringing steady and people are coming in. And we like to reach out and help as much as we can. And uh, of course, the only way we can help is if people help us. So sure. okay. we call it people helping people. And uh, so, how are some of the ways that you help uh, area community members? We everywhere from any. We give out food. We give out clothing. We give out beds. Uh, I, we got fire. A couple of different fire victims that we're dealing with right now, and uh, we do it all. Mm -hmm. Furniture, whatever you okay. know. Okay. Okay. And how can people in the community help you? Well. In many different ways, like cash is always good because we take that and we can buy food and different things. We get some real good deals on food. Uh, they can support they can support the refuge in so many different ways. Uh, we have our little coffee shop. Uh, come here and have a great hamburger and fellowship, and it, it's all every every bit of that goes right back into the ministry. So it enables us to help. I got to leave as soon as we're done now and go help a lady who's got a broken water line, and she's tried everything to try to get somebody to help her to do this, and the water spraying out underneath of her trailer house. Oh, That's dear. just an example. And uh, we can go and help her fix that. It, we, do, we can't do that all the time, but in certain cases we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, you feed people. I mean, we, we were talking a bit earlier how uh, the, the number of people that perhaps are a bit less fortunate, you're able to uh, feed, and, and like you had mentioned, clothe as well. Anybody can come here anytime okay. and have a hot meal. Okay. Any time, any time of the day. We do from breakfast till five, six o'clock in the evening, or maybe not quite that late in the evening. But uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights, we have hot meals served from five thirty to six. Or, no, actually five thirty to no five to six thirty. Okay. And every night, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, then every day. Any time of the day, they can come and get some tea. And if they have some questions about their individual life, you can help them in that department absolutely, too. Absolutely, absolutely. We have pastors here uh, that will uh, uh, counsel with people. We have people that will pray with people. We're trying to cover it all. Sure, a lot of good people here at the refuge, there is. helping a lot of good people absolutely. in our in our community. Yeah. Thank you, Mel. Um, remember uh, the Solid Grounds Coffee Shop here on A Street. Remember the Helping Hand Thrift Store downtown as well. Just additional ways that uh, the local community can can help those uh, that are in need Amen. of some assistance. We have some beautiful Christmas wreaths for sale yeah. right now too. Great, great. So questions, contact the refuge. Uh, A Street in Detroit Lakes. Thanks for watching.